first tonight's top news story. Six police officers have been slightly injured after two blast bombs and petrol bombs were hurled at the security forces during a hoax bomb alert in Lurgan. A chief inspector says dissident Republicans were among the 30 strong crowd who attacked the security forces as they examined the device which had been left near the railway line. Jane Lockery reports. Lake Street in Lurgan just before 11 o'clock this morning and two blast bombs and around eight petrol bombs are heard with the police from the direction of the Kilwilkie estate as they move in to examine a suspicious device which was spotted outside a derelict house near the railway line. Six officers were slightly hurt and seven families had to be evacuated during the disturbances. One of the blast bombs was thrown over the roof of a house which a chief inspector describes as completely indiscriminate. My reaction to this is that this is uh, all about the officers themselves seeking to protect the community. This was our only role this morning, looking after the community and making sure that they weren't at risk. Unfortunately, the upshot of that is that my officers are then being attacked whilst they're providing that service to the, the community in North Logan. Jason Murphy insists the violence was orchestrated by a hardcore group of around 10 people who hid in a 30-strong crowd. I think the intelligence picture around this is that dissident uh, Republicans are seeking to draw my officers into attack. There's no doubt around that, and, and the, the, this afternoon and, and this morning's events would tend to suggest that there's a, a degree of orchestration around this as well. You know, but we won't step back from the threat because we know the threat is there. Our job is to police under the threat, understand the threat, and deliver the service accordingly, and that's what we'll continue to do. Army bomb experts are moving in behind me for the second time today to examine this suspicious device. Local residents, who were too afraid to be interviewed today, told me they're totally exasperated with all these continuing security alerts and the disruption it's causing to their lives. One 80-year-old woman, who had to leave her home at quarter past six this morning, decided to wait at the police cordon until the alert was over. It makes me feel really angry. Really angry. I, I, should I have to sit here all day? I'm not moving to no member of my family or anything again. I had to go this morning. I think it's terrible. The device was later declared to be a hoax, as was one nearby earlier this month.